So assume we are having this function. In the case of this function, you can see uh, this function is assuming a value 0 at these location as well as at these locations. So I can represent this value as a plus b plus c. I can represent this value as a plus b plus c complement. I can represent this value as a plus b complement plus c and I can represent this value as a plus b plus c complement. So why I am representing these values like this is this this is a max term and this max term will assume a value 0 only if we pass 0 0 0 that means it will only if it will be having a value 0 only if we pass 0 in a 0 in b as well as 0 in c here it will assume a value 0 only if we pass 0 0 1 right so then only this value will be 0 right so next term is the uh, product of some product of some forms product of some okay so what is the product of some i can write it like this a plus b plus c dot a plus b plus c complement dot a plus b complement plus c dot a plus b plus c complement right so this is the product of some that means we are doing product of some expressions we are doing product of some expressions again we have two types of product of some number one is a simple product of some force that, that is pos second one is a canonical collection of product of some forms or you can say canonical product of some forms so what is a canonical product of some for example in case of product of some if we have a function which is representing a b c then we can represent a function like this a plus b dot a plus b complement plus c right so here in this case in every product term in this product term we don't have the variable c in case of canonical product of sum like for example this is a canonical product of sum if the function is of three variables if the function is of three variables now in case of canonical product of sum these terms every product of some term or you can say every max term should assume a value zero for exactly one combination of variable and all these max terms on every max term all the three variables should be there for example here in the function we have three variables therefore all the three variables should be there in the max terms all the three variables should be there in the max term again all the three variables should be there in the max term in case of product of some terms uh, um, if, uh, it is not necessary that every product of some term is canonical for example here because here we have a plus b but we don't have the variable c therefore this expression is just representing a product of some term but this is not representing a canonical product of some term okay so there's a difference between canonical collection canonical and simple like product of some and canonical product of some in the same way sum of product and canonical sum of product Okay, so let us look at more definitions after this.